Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at StepCA, a self-hosted Let's Encrypt alternative. Let's start by running sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to make sure all of our software packages are up to date. Then we'll use a regular expression script to look up the latest download for StepCA, and then wget to download the StepCA Debian package. Next, we'll use dpkg-i to install the downloaded Debian package. Next, we'll use a regular expression script to look up the latest step CLI download URL. Then we'll use wget to download the Debian package. And again, dpkg-i to install the downloaded DEB file. With StepCA now installed, we can create a working directory at etsy slash step-ca. Next, we'll elevate our terminal to the root user using sudo su and set the step path variable to our working directory. Then we can run step ca init to initialize a new certificate authority. Press enter to select standalone, then enter a name for the new PKI. Enter a comma separated list of DNS names and IP addresses to identify this step ca server. Then enter the port for step ca to bind to and the PKI owner email address. And finally, a password to protect the PKI. With the certificate authority now initialized, we'll run a command to add the Acme provisioner, and then exit the root shell. We'll save the PKI password to etsy stepca password.txt, then create a stepca account to use to run stepca as a service. We'll set the new stepca user as the owner of the etsy stepca directory, and limit access to the password.txt file to only the stepca user. Next, we'll create a stepca log directory and set the stepca user as the owner of the directory. Then we'll modify the stepca config file to set the default certificate duration. We need to paste the claims value into each of the provisioners in the configuration file and adjust the values as needed. For my home lab setup, I'm setting the max length to three years and the default length to one year. Save the changes to the stepca config file and close nano. Next, we'll create a service file for stepca. Copy and paste the service configuration from the description, then save your changes and close Nano. Next, we'll reload the systemd services, and then enable and start the StepCA service. I'll double check there's no issues with the service by checking the status. With StepCA now up and running as a service, I'll copy the root and intermediate certificates created during the initialization to the Linux CA certificates directory. Then run update CA certificates to look for changes. Next, we're going to install the certbot snap. Before moving on, we need to remove certbot if it's been installed via apt. Then we need to install snapd, install and update the core snap, and then install the certbot snap. Then we'll copy the certbot binary to the system path. And finally, we'll run certbot against our stepca server to request a certificate. This works pretty much the same as requesting a certificate from Let's Encrypt, except we're specifying the server variable and pointing it at our stepca server. When prompted, enter an email address and select whether you'd like to receive emails from certbot. Once the certificate request completes successfully, the details of the certificates will be output to the terminal. You now have a self-hosted Let's Encrypt alternative to use for your self-signed certificate needs. 